Hi, this is Roxanne Karn, personal stylist based in Dallas, Texas. What I do is help transform women's wardrobes and transform their lives, both in person in the Dallas Metroplex as well as virtually. So today's video is about how to efficiently pack for a winter weekend getaway. So I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what I'm gonna be packing for my trip this long weekend in terms of garment pieces as well as um, really just packing efficiently. So where I'll start is that if you look at the uh, garment selection that I have, you'll see that I really kind of stuck to neutrals. Um, the reason I did that is A, it's winter time. Neutrals always work well in winter, wearing kind of ivory and winter white. Um, it is also, you know, a quick, a quick trick for you to look and feel more luxurious is to wear kind of lighter neutral colors. So that's part, that's part of the game plan. But also, one of the reasons why I chose the color palette is that that way I can kind of just mix and match my pieces most easily and not have to, you know, think about, oh, I've got red shoes or, you know, I have a blue top, just pieces that just work with each other and you can swap them out. So let's go ahead and start with what I'm going to be wearing for travel. So for travel, I've got this really comfy, warm poncho. Um, I've had this for, for, for a few years now, and um, I just really wear it over a simple black tee. Nothing too crazy, but it's nice because I've got flexibility as a pon with the poncho to move my arms, and um, it really just serves as a great blanket, especially if you're on a plane that's cold, which does happen quite often. And when I actually um, think about what I'm wearing for my, um, my travel, I actually wear the same outfit on both ends of the trip. So I'll wear this for my outbound trip, but I'm also gonna wear it when I come back. And I do that because it's one less outfit to think about for my travel. So that's why I have two black tees. I've got this really lovely um, kind of dark brown mocha uh, cashmere turtleneck sweater. This is lightweight, but it's very, very warm. And when you're thinking about your winter wardrobe and weekend getaways, you really don't wanna to have too many items that are bulky, and you wanna have items that are, that are um, pretty much layerable. So this turtleneck works great kind of on its own just with a pair of jeans, or I can also put a jacket on top of it. Now you'll see the top that I have on right now similarly, is a, a top that can be worn independently just with a pair of jeans and some cute pumps. And if I want to add another layer on for warmth, I just pop on this really cute crop jacket and voila, we have a completely you know different look. I think this is a good idea. You know, if, without the jacket, it's something that you could wear when you're going out for your, with your girlfriends during the day. But let's say you're transitioning into evening, it's getting a little bit cooler, and you really just wanna have another layer of warmth, you can just pop this right on. Make sure that you have a jacket that has a great fit, and this just really looks great on you overall. So that's another outfit idea. And again, I can opt to wear this over this sweater I have on right now, or the lightweight cashmere turtleneck. So I also have this really, um, also very warm, somewhat lightweight as well. This is an asymmetric sweater. I actually wore this um, from one of my TV appearances a couple of years ago, and um, I love it so much. It's winter white. I always really rock this every single winter season, and um, it just makes a really kind of fun alternative to a weekend casual dress. And because it is asymmetric, it's a little bit harder to see on the, on, the, um, on the hanger, but it just hangs right over your shoulder. So you can kind of pop a little sexy in and still look really, really pretty and classy. One must have for every trip, whether you have an occasion or not, you always need to have a little black dress. I go prepared because I never know if I'm gonna get invited to an event or stumble upon a party, um, it's always, it just always makes sense to have one. And I'm sure some of you can relate to me in, 
in that sometimes you may travel and someone may ask you to go out unexpectedly and you're freaking out because you have nothing to wear and you're in a city that you don't know where anything is and then you've got to scramble and try to buy something and then you're not really probably making the most um the best you know wardrobe choice because you're really working under the gun so just pop a black a small little black dress a little lbd right in your uh suitcase and that way it is on the ready for you in case you get that call now equally is important you know you those outfits that i've shown you so far are really kind of for going out but what about for your downtime what about some loungewear you're not gonna be out and about every single minute of the day. So what about that time when you're kind of decompressing from your day in your hotel room? May not be quite nighttime yet or bedtime. You wanna have some leisure wear. So I have a couple of pieces that I love. I wear this around the house a lot. This is one of my favorite kind of sports bras from Montiel. And then this is actually a, um, a nice kind of modern sweater from um, Kalia, Carrie Underwood's athleisure line. And um, again, it's layerable. This keeps you warm, but doesn't keep you too hot. And then you can just easily pair it with a really comfortable pair of sweatpants, right? Nothing too contrived, but something you can kind of cozy up on your bed with, with a book or watch TV and not really, again, get ready quite all the way for, for bed, but something that's gonna be comfortable for you to just kind of navigate around your hotel room. Now, when it does come to bed, I included a pair, pair of my favorite pajamas. Um, these are my Brooks Brothers pajamas, 100% cotton, and I love these, and I take these every time, I, everywhere I travel, I take these with me because it is lightweight, it's breathable and works any time of year. And because it's 100% cotton, it folds down really nicely, doesn't take a lot of space, um, and it just is so, just luxurious and comfortable to sleep in. So I always take my nice little Brooks Brothers jammies. Now for outerwear, I always like to take a nice, in the winter time, a nice long coat. Um, you know, this season we are having really treacherous weather in Chicago, in the Northeast, in the Mid-Atlantic, and you know, there are you know, high winds, cold temperatures. You really want to be protected from head to toe. So this is a beautiful example of um, a coat that will really keep you warm and toasty. And this is a Burberry um, cashmere trench that is, um, I mean, it's your traditional trench coat. It's got the epaulets on the shoulders. Um, you know, it's double-breasted, very, very nice fit. It doesn't weigh a lot. Again, cashmere is one of those, you know, fantastic wintertime fabrics because it's not thick, but it, it keeps you super, super warm. So this is a must-have to pack in your suitcase. And then along with that, um, beautiful Burberry scarf. I just kind of kept with the Burberry theme. This is a great accessory because you don't have to only just wear it with your trench coat, but you can wear it with the turtleneck. I can put it on here. Um, you just have so many ways that you can rock this. And the nice thing as well is that this folds down really nicely into your purse, so it does not take a lot of space. So I wanna talk to you a little bit about shoes. So because I have this neutral color palette, I really don't want to have a ton of different types of shoes. I really want to take probably like two pairs, one to travel in and one to, um, to wear with my outfits. So typically when I travel, I really like to travel in the winter time in my over the knees, over the knee boots. This is a suede boot here. It's very flexible super easy to get on and off if you have to go through um you know pre-check and and clear and all that but the thing i love about this the most is that these boots are flat so they're very comfortable you're not in the heel the entire time this is great for trekking through the weekend as well now what i will say is that depending on where you're going if you haven't had the chance to check out the weather forecast or you have checked it out and you know that you may have some rain it may be a good idea to take some weatherproof boots with you. These are a little bit bulkier, but 
you want to wear these instead of those in inclement weather. So just kind of keep that in mind. Take a look at the weather forecast because that'll determine the type of shoe wear that you'll take with you. So again, like I said, I, want, I don't want to be taking too many pairs of shoes. So you want to make some decisions based off of the color palette as well as comfort and style. You want to maybe take two pairs of shoes. So I would opt for either taking the pair that I have on now. These are some Python Sam Edelman um, pumps. These are probably one of my favorite pairs of shoes. Or if you wanted to do another pump, you can go with one that's completely neutral that actually matches everything. So this, if you if you wanted to just kind of you know have something more basic go with a uh, neutral pump. But if you want to add a little bit of flair, something like this Python pump can work as well. Now, I already spoke about the little black dress. What you can do if you want to kind of dress things up a little bit, a pair of patent leather sling back shoes work really, really well here. Uh, if you want to have something different, but if you want to reduce, again, the number of shoes that you're taking with you, there's no reason why you couldn't wear the LBD with a pair of Python pumps or your neutral pumps. And I had to include these isotoners. Yes, I took it back to the 80s with the isotoners. Um, really just to complement your loungewear. When you're out and about in the hotel, you really want to have some comfortable shoes. I'm a little bit of a germaphobe and I don't like walking around barefoot in hotels, so I always have my little isotoners with me and they're super comfy. Now, a couple of things uh, that I want to mention in terms of items that I take with me pretty much every time I travel um, that I think that you would really benefit from. So first of all, I've got these. These are known as pasties. They're basically nipple covers and you never know when you're going to need these. Sometimes if you've maybe bought a dress that you haven't um, maybe had a chance to try on or you don't have it with a certain bra or it's something that you can wear braless, but when you put it on, your headlights are showing, you always want to have these. They are tiny, you can keep them in your purse and they, they're adhesive and they're reusable. You can use each set probably, probably about, I would say about 10 times or so. So really inexpensive. I'll have a link in my blog post um, that shows you where to get these, but these are really handy. I also always travel with my portable hand steamer. So you're packing your clothes, things are going to get wrinkled, okay? So you don't wanna walk out looking like a crumpled mess, so make sure you have your steamer. The reason why I like this is because it's pretty compact, it heats up really, really quickly, but you're not forced to use, most of all, you're not forced to use um, the iron, excuse me, the iron that's on at the hotel. Sometimes irons, at hotels have um, maybe burn marks or you know finishes that may have come off from somebody else's other, somebody else's other outfit. You do not want that melted onto your clothes. So a hand steamer is the best way to go. What I will say though is you need to think ahead. Don't steam an outfit and think that you're just going to wear it out immediately. You need to steam it out at least a few hours so it can dry completely because if you wear it while it's still moist and damp, it's just gonna wrinkle up on you. And of course, who wants to wear wet clothes, right? But this is a really, really good investment and I'll make sure I have a link to this as well in the blog post. So one of the reasons I have the garment rack laid out for you is not only to show you the outfits, but also I like to plan ahead and see what I'm gonna need in terms of hanging space. When I, whenever I travel, I usually unpack all of my clothes and I prefer prefer to have them hung up so I can see everything, access everything, and of course, steam everything. So what I like to do is actually travel with my own hangers, okay? We have all been in situations where you go into the hotel room and A, they're not enough hangers, B, they have those janky hangers that have like a ring around it and you can't take it off, and you're trying to put the clothes on and it's spinning around and it's just frustrating. These are slimline hangers that I actually use in my own closet, but I, whenever I pack my clothes, I bring my own hangers. So that way I know I'm not ever gonna be in a situation where maybe there are no hangers in the hotel room and they're not enough or they're the wrong type. So I highly encourage you to invest in some slimline hangers, not only for your closet, 
um, because they're really, really good for your clothing, especially with the natural shoulder here. But also, look how compact that is. It doesn't really take up a lot of space and you can pack it easily in your carry-on or in a check baggage. Going back to kind of having a, a great tote to keep your essentials in. So for this trip, I really, really did not want to have, um, you know, not only my check bag, but another suitcase, a small suitcase full of my laptops and my iPad and all that. So it's a really good idea to invest in a tote, something that's gonna be bigger than your traditional handbag that can hold all of your essentials and keep it close to you. So this is a beautiful Tom Ford tote. Um, it has really cool features. It actually has a lock. Um, the key is actually right in here. If you see that pulled out here. And it has a lock that locks this compartment right here. This compartment is great to keep your iPad. And then inside the purse itself, we've got a magnetic snap closure at the top, which is great for security. It also comes with a um, kind of a built-in, it's like a hybrid of a like wallet or clutch, but this is great maybe to keep your passport, your driver's license, um, you know, specific credit cards, things that you just wanna be able to grab quickly. But it is a really deep bag. So you can carry all of your essentials here and, um, and again, know that it's safe. So I wanna show you some of the essentials that I carry that go into a bag like that. I always, 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 travel with my laptop, my MacBook Pro here. That fits right inside that bag super easily. Also, my iPad to read or watch movies. That's essential for me too, especially when the airline's internet is janky <laughs> and you can't get on. Also, you wanna have a good book because you just never know when your battery may run out on your laptop or your iPad. Sunglasses because in a winter time, it's still sunny, right? So you wanna protect your eyes, you wanna make sure you have some sunglasses. And then also, you wanna have a hat. Really foldable, really easy, compact, stick it right in your bag. The reason why you wanna carry this is that depending on which airport you go to, there may be um, a space where you have to wait outside for your Uber, for your ride, for you know the rental bus. And some places are not covered. So you don't want to be exposed in elements. If it's raining or snowing, definitely have a hat that's on the ready. For your carry-on, you want to have um, a bag or one of these jewelry holders. So you want to keep your, both your fine and costume jewelry on you. I never, ever pack any jewelry in my suitcase that gets checked. It always comes with me. So really just depending on how much you take. Um, this is a short trip, so something like this would probably suffice to carry um, my fine jewelry and my costume jewelry. But again, it's small enough that it can fit right in there, but the tote will carry it with no issues. I also wanted to share with you <laughs> compression socks. So it is not a good look to walk off of the plane with like your legs looking and feeling like a potato, <laughs> okay? When you fly, you swell. So you should always travel with a compression sock. When possible, I try to put the compression sock on before I leave home. Um, or if I'm not able to, I just have it, you know, just rolled up in my bag and I'll put it on right before the flight. And really what it does is just that it keeps your, um, your, you know, your blood flowing and prevents your feet from swelling. Uh, again, I'm sure probably a lot of you ladies can relate to me in being in situations where your feet are swelling on the plane either in your shoe or if you take your shoe off when you land and you put your foot back in the shoe, you can barely get it in and it's very uncomfortable. So um, you can prevent that by just wearing some compression socks. Again, it takes up no space and it can fit right in your carry-on. And then finally, another must-have piece is depending on the bag that you have, and I would recommend this for any bag, it doesn't have to be a luxury designer like Tom Ford, but if you have a, um, a duster, a dust bag that comes with your handbag, or you have another bag that you can use to place your handbag in, or your tote, definitely utilize it. Many times when we are um, you know, flying, you've got, you're instructed by the, um, the steward or stewardess that you need to 
push your, your bag in the seat under, um, in front of you. So the last thing you wanna do is have your nice bag or your light colored bag get scuffed up, right? From jamming it under the seat in front of you or even putting it in the overhead compartment. So if you do have a dust bag um, that came with your purse, I would say this is a great way to use it. And if you don't, you can certainly buy them um, on Amazon as well. But protect your investment. Just put your purse right in there and then you can safely store it. That way you know that it won't get scuffed and it won't look messy. And when you get to your destination, it will look the way it's supposed to look. So those are basically my tips on how to pack for a long winter weekend getaway. Again, this is what I'm gonna be taking with me this coming weekend. I'm really excited and um, you know, I hope these tips help you. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. And definitely follow me on um, my social media. I've got links to my Instagram. Uh, you can visit my website at roxannekarn.com. And if you are interested in joining a style membership where you get these types of tips on the regular and also have exclusive access to me, you can visit me at www.rc-style.com for more information on how to, draw, how to join my monthly membership. So that's all I have for you now. And thank you for watching. And I can't wait to come back with some more styling tips for you. Take care. Bye.